Greetings Capricorn, we are getting ready to do your May 1st through the 15th reading for you and seeing what is around you as a collective. This is a timeless reading, it may or may not resonate when you get it. Take what does, leave the rest on the table, okay? This is for your rising sun, moon, Venus, cross watchers, and cuspers such as myself. 420, it is still Taurus season and we still rocking it baby. Spirit source energy, the Tauruses are on the come up. We finally have arrived out there. Spirit Source Energy, what is going on as a collective for Capricorn? We are going to do your sun, your moon, your north node, and your south node, uh, Capricorn, and see what's going on in those areas. Spirit Source Energy, I'm switching it up this time. I like doing different ones for different uh, signs just to kind of see so y'all can see what is going on with y'all as an overall Spirit Source Energy. Thank you, Spirit Source Energy. What is going on with our Capricorns? They don't want to give y'all no cards, huh? Okay, let me shuffle again. Maybe they don't like it. Harmony. Okay. Let's see what's going on with Capricorn. As a collective, there's your destiny card. Okay. Y'all are working toward that destiny, right? Spirit Source Energy. Give us a Capricorn. Spirit Source Energy. Oh, there we go. Sun card. Let like that one. Ooh, there we go. Ooh, and they're flipping upside down. Oh, Lord. Suffering and silence, moon. Spiritual strength, sun. Wow. Authority, north node. That's your future. And your, uh, your south node, your past life, your financial and material upside down. Wow. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. They just blocked my cars around. They were just upright at the last reading, and they flopped my cards around, y'all. So we're going to leave them. Y'all know me. I'm not even arguing. I'll straighten them back, and if they keep flopping them, I'll just, whatever come out, just come out flopped. <laughs> you know, but they know I like to have my cards in upright position, but I'm a Taurus. I'm being stubborn, and they're like, girl, if you don't leave them cards alone, tower moment. Capricorn's tower moment here. We're going to see what's going on with you guys energy here with your sun and your moon north node and your south node here Ooh wait and then we'll get what is a mutual energy let me get one of these and then we'll get a mutual energy spirit source energy thank you capricorn mutual energy make sure we get a spirit source energy one card for capricorn well, more than one card. These are so thick, they stick together. Okay. Okay. That'll be y'all mutual energy, those three in the middle. Okay. We'll deal with those in a minute. Let's go over here and get your son, your strength card, your, your spiritual strength. Whatever you're going through, you're definitely being given the spiritual strength to do so, Capricorn. Uh... Spirit source energy clarify spiritual strength for Capricorn. Ooh, for Capricorn. Whoa, look at there. Look what's crossing your path in your son. A king of wands and a queen of cups. Whoa, just like that. That's how they landed. Queen of cups, baby, you are like emotionally stable, grounded. You're getting still. You're, you're focusing on your, you know, on your cup on what you're trying, you know, your emotions, your inner feelings, you are grounding yourself with your feelings right now. So whatever you're going through, you're going to be given the strength. What is coming across you is this king of wands, this leader, this very supportive person, uh, man or woman, okay? The energy, the sex is the card in the energy of the card, not you per se. So if I say he, you could definitely be a she in this king of wands, okay? Or if you're a he, if even if this is a, a she card, but you're a he, you could be acting as this queen of cups. So not to offend anybody on the sex, but that's how we kind of tend to do things. So uh, this king of wands is coming across you a very, uh, very leadership, you know, taking action, very supportive uh, and overcoming challenges that come the way. I mean, very passionate and caring uh, kind of go hand in hand when you're dealing with emotional fulfillment. You want the passion there, okay? So you're being guided spiritually about this person here 
and to, to be guided toward that person for whatever reason, it that the universe is got that person crossing your path because the cards cross. Uh, so that tells me that, you know, that person is coming across your path. So you might be meeting somebody like this in the next month or two uh, that you run into and there's a reason behind that meeting. So whatever that meeting entails, you meeting that person at work or at the store, at the gas station, at the grocery store, shopping, mall, whatever, somebody's gonna be crossing your path if they haven't already. Let's go over here with your moon suffering in silence. And we know that's about emotions. The moon are about our emotions and getting in touch with our emotions and our heart, okay? So there's suffering in silence with the overall Capricorn uh, energy here. And both of those have nine. Look at this. Both of those cards have the number nine, and that means completion. So you might be coming into a completion of your suffering in silence is not going to be anymore because now you're starting to see the sun come up in your life and across your path. So now you're feeling like, okay, all of that I've been through and all that I had to hold up, you know, for myself that I'm finally getting, you know, the sun to come up and there's no more, you know, sadness and suffering and silence by myself, but you're being given the, the spiritual sense, you know, strength to do, you know, to get through all of this. That's wow. That's, that's deep y'all. Nine, nine, that's completion on the sun and the moon. So whatever you were dealing with, you know, through your sun, you, you know, your moon was right there, right? Your moon was right there with you, you know, filling it with you. You were in sync with your feelings and your sun, your sound and your moon. So your emotions, right? So it was the one that's there between you. And now that the moon, that, that number nine represents the completion of suffering and silence. Let's clarify spirit source energy, suffering and silence for Capricorn. I don't want to pick it up that way. The, uh, seven of cups you got to be careful you got choices to make you want to make sure those choices are not illusions okay go inside and get in touch with your feelings there's a magician card there spirit source energy Woo, lord they are just kicking cards out today Woo, there that sun that's proof the sun is getting ready to come up in your life you got the most powerful card in the in the tarot deck the universe is getting ready to move things around because you suffered so much in silence by yourself and now that the sun is coming up you were in your head a lot you lost a lot of sleep you know nine of sword you did a lot of mental mental work and thinking at night you know you couldn't sleep you're up you know by the crack of dawn you know before any daylight or the sunset i mean or the sunrise you just didn't get any sleep you know you just tossed and turned and had nightmares and worried a lot and just you know for whatever that suffering was the sun is coming up the, the high priest is again telling you to go within your moon, keep the balance, the black and the white, keep the balance between the sun and the moon, your feelings, you know, and your heart and your, and your, uh, sun, you know, your thoughts, keep the, keep that balance there. That into that high priestess coming in, uh, for intuition and listening to that in that insight and that, uh, instinct of yours, right? Then you have, ooh, happy, harmony, harmonious home life. Coming in here with the four of wands, that's what you're trying to manifest and that's what's been keeping you up because you wanna keep that balance in your home life and, and you, you want that home life to be happy and, and abundant and there's all the abundance that the sun is about to bring because you've suffered enough in silence now that the sun is shining, your home will be filled with lots of joy, lots of enlightenment from the sun, lots of positiveness from the sun, okay? The sun is gonna bring all this together. And then you have a page of cups. You have a proposal coming from some uh, someone that you may know, may have had uh, relations with, you know, in the past, could be coming back to offer you a marriage proposal or a commitment to start this family life. Okay, ooh, Capricorn, look at y'all. Look at there, lovers in reverse. That is the Capricorn. That's the devil, the Capricorn energy right there. I thought it was the lovers, but it's the devil. These cards are, yep, they're any kind of way. So let's let's clarify why the authority, this is the emperor card. And the emperor card in reverse is about loss of authority, immaturity, or no discipline. So it's showing that you're not getting things done and you're not taking leadership. You know, there's a loss of power somewhere. So we need to clarify this and see what's going on with this.
this in your uh, north node. This is in the future what you're trying to become and what you're working towards. So this is almost your destiny card here. So we got to find out why is there a loss of power? Are you off the path? Are you, did you get sidetracked somewhere? Where is the, the lack of discipline and the immaturity coming from? Okay, and this is under the sun, but this is in your north node. Okay, spirit source energy clarify authority in reverse. Ooh. Ooh, Lord. Here the moon is being too much of a giver, giving too much to somebody that's not returning that back creates that imbalance, creates that, you know, that uh, loss in power because you're losing that energy to that person that's taking, 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 taking while you're giving, you know, so you're giving too much to others. You might need to realign yourself with what you're actually doing and what you're actually doing for people. Capricorn, because you could be doing too much and that's creating that loss in energy and, and power that you're, you know, you're not getting reciprocated for the greatness and the goodness that you do. You know, you got to make sure that you're not around people that just take, take, take. Queen of Swords, you're coming up in here. You're getting ready to start dividing that though. You're getting ready to just cut people out of your life that is taking advantage of you with this Queen of Swords because you're going to start speaking up, speaking your truth. You're feeling confident now. You, your mind is clear. You're back in focus. And now you're just going to start cutting people off, you know, with the Queen of Swords. You're like, okay, you don't want to, you don't want to return what I'm doing for you or how I'm helping you. Bye. And you're not hesitating. So you coming in there like the Queen of Swords, baby, for real. If them actions ain't lining up because you've been so generous in the past and gotten used and abused by your giving that now you're coming in. I'm not taking no crap. I'm not, I'm taking my power back. I'm not taking no crap at all. Look at there. You gain a world. When you do this and you start cutting people off, your world comes into just being such fulfillment and achievements uh, that everything around you is successful and, and just full of life and possibilities for you. Okay. You, you've completed You've completed something. You've at the beginning of completing something before it gets ready to start again, getting the world card in here. That's your Capricorn Taurus Virgo energy right there. Look at it. Here comes a more solid proposal. So this page proposal was not really a solid. This page proposal that you got up here earlier, not really solid. They're just offering their emotions. That's all they really can give you. You know, they can only give you their cup of love. Okay, well, what else you got? You got money. <laughs> what you got some assets <laughs> so that person is just wanting you for basically sex fulfillment not really wanting a real real relationship a serious like building business type of relationship this night of this night of pinnacle is you, you know this may be a Taurus uh, a Taurus uh, man or woman that's coming in there wanting to get married and y'all wanting to settle down and put things together and work towards something long term this is your knight of pinnacle that you really need because this is a more solid offer to marry because it has the pinnacle to back it up it has money assets to back it up for you capricorn so they're serious they're like okay i want to marry you you know i got the evidence i got assets I have my own money. I don't want nothing you got. I got my own. You can come and share mine with me. You can keep your own money. And then you're coming in with the moon again, your cancer in energy, Pisces, Scorpio energy to say, go within. That's just like the uh, high priestess card. So they're saying go within. So when you cutting these people off and you getting these offers uh, for marriage, then you need to go in and reflect and see what's real and what's an illusion between even the marriage proposals. Cause you got two marriage proposals on here Capricorn so somebody somebody both two people want to marry you you know two different people these are not even the same people you know from what I'm picking up on these are like two different people wanting to marry you Capricorn so you got to decide with this moon energy and this high priestess energy to go in and reflect and search for the truth okay don't be in delusion about this you know because the moon can create that disillusion that illusionment you know as well as getting you to look at your your uh, real self, your mirror self, okay? Search your own feelings and see what you want in life, okay? Let's go ahead and clarify this financial material changes in your south node. This is what you were in your past life, okay? Spirit source energy, clarify financial, I'm not gonna let all those fall. Clarify financial and material changes in reverse. Oh, a lot of, ooh. 
Ooh, that's what it is. Look at that Capricorn around you. Look at all of that bickering. Look at all of that fighting and competition that you got. People trying to compete against you, spy on you, you know, thinking that, you know, they trying to start a conflict, you know, get you out of your emotions. You know, that's why the cards were saying get in touch with your emotions because somewhere they imbalance with that emperor being that uh, authority being upside down. Look at that confusion, conflict. You fighting it off too. Boy, you're fighting it off. You're like, I'm not giving a good God darn what y'all say and what y'all do. I, this is my life. This is my world. You know, I'm going to do my life how I'm doing it. And this is what you had went through in your past life. You fought a lot of battle. No wonder, you know, you had your moon of suffering in silence because you're carrying some of that still with you from your past life into this life. It was a lot of fighting, a lot of uh, competition and spying, you know, not trust. You weren't, I'm hearing you weren't around really trustworthy people. You know, you were you were around people that were secretly competing and spying on you, wanting what you had. You were financially and material, you know, uh, abundant and successful. And these people were like after it is what I'm hearing. They like wanted that stuff. Let's clarify some more financial and material changes. Spirit source energy for Capricorn. Spirit source energy. Look at the empress coming in. Two em Is it two empress or one? This one's the high priestess, the sun card, and the moon. So you got balance here. And then you got the emperor, the emperor in that authority card with the uh empress. So yeah, you're you got to go within the world card. Okay. Yeah, you gotta go within and look, the death card, the Scorpio, the Taurus is the Empress, Divine Feminine, Venus, Venus, Earth, uh, fertility, life, new business, taking back your power because over here with authority in reverse, you lost your power from, you know, people taking it from you now, taking it from you now, you've lost a lot of power, you know, with those takers while you were a giver and doing what was right, they were using you. Now over here in your south node, in your past life for these changes, you're coming back, you know, you, you were empress, you were wealthy. You had went through some type of, uh, uh, inf you know, death or transformation and, you know, that could have led people to start fighting over your, your what you had left. Maybe you left that behind in your past life and that's where all of this bickering and fighting came on and you were very wealthy and prosperous and maybe you had took an illness and that's where you, you probably had left a lot of it and they used your wealth and your, your abundance and your material assets and they ran it down the drain. They just used it. They didn't even do anything good with it, you know, but that's in your past life, you know, with this death card of the Scorpio, it's saying transmutation. It could be, you know, endings, letting go of attachments, uh, you know, ending of a cycle, letting go. It's your Scorpio energy. And like I said, your Empress is, so you're getting it back. You're working, you are working on getting it back here in your present life. You just got to get rid of those uh, and you realize it now. You got to get rid of those those takers. So that's why you came out like the queen of swords this time because you're not trying to repeat the lesson here. You know, you when you get your abundance here in this lifetime and this is your your, your past, you, you don't want this to happen again. The bickering, the fighting over, you know, your your assets, you know, and who gets what and who gets that, right? Or who feels entitled to this and who feels entitled to that. Because, you know, some people think because you're, your cousins or your sisters and brothers that when you get billions of and mothers and fathers, you think they think when you come into money that you you know you owe them, you 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 deserve to share that abundance with them, and that's not the case because they'll break they'll bankrupt you. Some people don't have the mindset for wealth, and that's why they never get it because that's a poor mentality that they have to just don't have respect for money and just spend 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 and don't save. You're coming in here at the Queen of Pentacles. Baby, you're admiring your pinnacle and everything. You got it going on. Now, the shaman, the 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 um, challenge is the shaman, trust in the higher forces. That's your mutual energy coming in here. Trust in the higher forces to guide you. So that's like the, in, the intuition, the high priestess, again, the mood energy. Trust in those ancestral spirits, those shamans to guide you. Like, look up the owl. 
and see what the owl say to you. You know, see what the owl has to say to you. Then here's Father Sky coming in here, trust in the unknown, like trust in the universe, that the universe is working everything out for you. Uh, that's your that's your challenge, that's your outcome. This will be, you know, the, the uh, advice, protection guardian. Drop your shields, like no more fighting. Drop your shields, don't even bother. Just, just stop arguing with these fools. Stop debating with these fools. Stop letting these fools ruffle your feathers. You see, she got feathers, man. They're going to pluck your feathers off of you, <laughs> off of your wings, your angel wings. If you keep fooling with these numbskulls, you know, that's trying to get under your skin and irritate you to death like they did in your past life, drop that bull corn and leave them jokers alone. Cut them loose. You don't need them in your life. Once you get rid of the old energy, you'll get new energy in. You can't get to the wealth because you got these old, the old energy around you and you need to let those people go. You need to cut them loose so that they can go on their way and then your abundance will come in and it'll be much easier and smoother when it comes. But as long, it's not an ego thing. With protection, with protection guardian, drop your shields is like dropping the ego, dropping the, the need to have the last say, dropping the need to argue with people over stuff that don't even matter. If it ain't gonna matter the next minute, why are you even opening your mouth toward it? Just some things, you gotta pick your battles. You gotta pick your battles this day and time. You can't just be going off at the end with everybody, the wit's end, because if you do, you ain't gonna have no wings. <laughs> they gonna be up plucked all your little beautiful wings off that you earned for having that good, generous heart. It's their, that's the reflection of them that they would use you like that, take advantage of you and not return any reciprocity to you, like meet you like with a fair give and receive relationship, whether it's a spouse relationship, whether it's a boyfriend, girlfriend, family relationship, sister, brother relationship, it doesn't even matter. The matter is any type of relationship or partnership is supposed to be equal exchange of energy. You give and receive equally. It's no, no one person give and the other person take, but the taker don't never give anything. And then the giver don't never take nothing back. That's an unequal, that's an imbalance. And that's what's creating this imbalance right here in the, in the reading. But you have the balance, you've learned the lesson. You are a very high up there person, very wealthy person in your past life. And if you don't correct the, this, this life in your destiny, what you're, you're not going to get to your destiny. And we saw the destiny card. You're not going to complete this, this, uh, this world, this cycle card. You, you're trying to come out of your shell and, and let the world see who you are. Here's two major archaeas. The, the, the world and the moon. The sun is up here with the high priestess. And then death and the, uh, the empress is here. So see, you were a giver. And then you like had to pull out the sword on even today at today's time. You're like, hold up, wait a minute. Something ain't right. You know, you got the world and you got a marriage. You got a marriage coming in that's uh, that's going to meet you where you are. Like this person, this whoever this person is, female or male, your knight of pentacles is the same as you. They have a giving heart and they give equally to you and you give equally to them. So this is like a very, very very positive relationship with this knight of pentacles i feel the page is going to be immature lack emotional immaturity not in touch with their feelings and they're just promising you something at the whim you know of not wanting you to walk away or move you know out of their life because they're lacking emotional immature maturity right now they haven't learned from their own lessons and so this is like a fake this is like i call this the fake proposal baby that ain't even real Okay, to me, because they're not even, they're not even uh, uh, grounded in their offer with nothing. You know, I can have all the money in the world. You, I mean, you have all the emotion in the world. But sometimes if you don't have the money and vice versa, you can still be sad or you can still be lonely. You know, so they kind of go hand in hand. You know, they kind of go hand in hand. This is beautiful. Y'all just have to get in line with what what you are that's a great 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 so i think your y'all's is going to be let go of them takers baby cut the takers off cut the takers off capricorn they're they're depleting your energy you know they're they're you're losing power and control of your own situation in life because you got too many takers around and it's just it's time to cut people off you know i'm surprised the hangman didn't show up you know but you're definitely you know 
rocking that pinnacle, that that uh, that uh, queen of pinnacles here. So hope you enjoyed it, y'all. Hit me down in the description box in the uh, if you need any services or anything. And then also uh, let me know if it resonates with you or not. Like, subscribe, hit the hit the bell, the button to get you know more notifications when I post. I'll be finishing up trying to finish up everybody's first through the fifteenth today, so you can check back later and hopefully all of them will be up. I have four more signs to complete from May first through the fifteenth. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, tag a friend. Look at the services down there in the description box, uh, and you know what your girl always say. Peace, love, and harmony. Because if you got peace, love, and harmony within yourself, you'll have peace, love, and harmony within the world. So peace, love, and harmony.